y'all welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is katie and i make stuff vegan okay so boom first of all y'all we done made it to a thousand subscribers what that's crazy thank you for your support and stuff like for real like y'all rock with me heavy and i love that Purr. okay so today i'm making arepas and i've been wanting to try these for a very long time but this past week i was watching this youtuber named drew binsky he's done a series in venezuela for the past like nine weeks or something and i saw him eating this particular type of arepa it's called like a um i don't know spanish hold on it's called a rena that means queen right okay so a rena pepiada or something like that arena pepiada let me know if i said that right or whatever how you say it arena pepiada which basically means like a curvy queen listen i don't know Look, i'm just here for the recipe okay and i saw that and i was like nah i gotta have it i had like i couldn't stop thinking about it to the point that like i was supposed to make something else today and like i was like hold on i have to have that arepa so if you want to see how i make a vegan arepa keep on watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe so you never miss any of my videos and always like always per the link to the detailed recipe will be in the description box below okay let's get sorted okay so i'm gonna start by preparing the the bread part the um the arepa i'm gonna make the actual arepa okay so i got some warm water here and i'm dissolving the salt into the water i have about a tablespoon of salt here make sure your hands clean make sure your hands clean okay we need a panasonic even if we weren't make sure your hands clean okay so at first i was lit because i was like i have all the ingredients for the arepa at my house like all of them period no i have like the regular of masa for making like tamales i make i use it to make uh pupusas that one doesn't work you have to get the pre-cooked white corn flour i found it right next to the one that i already had at the mexican market and this one i thought it was imported from venezuela it's not it was made in the u.s so that leads me to believe that you can find it almost anywhere i almost went to kroger but i was like why not i go to the place that i know it's finna be there and it was at this mexican market here in memphis but you can find it anywhere let's go look by the in, in the international section or whatever and yeah okay so i started off with about a cup of the the masa and then i just kept adding it little by little and the reason why i'm using my hands so much is because in my research i heard that you have to feel it like when you feel it you will know and since my ancestors ain't venezuelan i was like lord i hope i feel something <laughs> but like i understood what people were saying like as you as you add the masa little by little it will stop sticking to your hands for one and it will come in together and form form a, a, a bow a bow what am i saying a ball i've been thinking about viola too much a bow okay roll it up and then flatten it out and i describe it as looking like a little like a little frisbee don't roast me okay don't roast me but listen imagery helps okay and I only made two. I understand these are huge, but you know, I'm living my life, okay? They were really easy to make. Yeah, just flatten it out and then I shaped it up and there you go. I covered it with a damp paper towel, come back to make my little filling. Okay, so well, this type of, uh, I was gonna say pupusa, this type of arepa has chicken and avocado. So I was thinking about like what chicken I wanted to use. I'm like low key tired of the scallopini because I know a really good vegan chicken can taste like. And that's not me roasting Gardein, cause I got some Gardein stuff in my freezer right now. I'm just saying of the vegan chickens, it's not giving. And I have scallopini in my fridge. So I was like, okay, I remember seeing this Sweet Earth chicken at um, Whole Foods over the weekend. So I went back today and I was like, ooh, period. Like I'm gonna get it. It was very expensive. It was like $8, what are we doing? It's not even a real bird. <laughs> but i liked it a lot it was really good i would buy it again but like only for a special occasion because it's eight dollars whatever so i just put some little seasons on it it's already salted so i left salt out of my recipe i shouldn't have done that but you know you'll season how you do your thing okay and i threw it in the air fryer you know how i do for like five to seven minutes just to get it a little crispy okay i was slicing up my little cilantro my onion i put so much avocado in this i adjusted it in the recipe because i was like i love avocado like top tier eating experience like top tier but i put too much so i adjusted it but this is this is like a cup and a half of avocado i think i asked for like three fourths cup okay put it on a little bobo i'm gonna show you my chicken in a second here we go Ooh! 
was so good. It was so good. Is this the best vegan chicken I've had? No, because you know what's really good? You know what worked really good in this recipe? Is the delicioso. Is that what it's called? It's probably not delicioso. It's not. It's delicio. I don't know. But um, I used it in my tamale video. Like, that's probably the best vegan chicken I've had. And it's accessible because you can order online. I can leave the link. But, um, yeah, but this is, like, up there. Like, if you have a Whole Foods by you and they have this. And I, I haven't seen this before like i think i this is the first time i've seen it or maybe i saw it the last time it's recent though but if you have this i would recommend trying it like the sweet earth one like these brands are getting creative okay they are getting creative okay i put all that i put some lemon you saw what i did some lime i mean some um mayonnaise listen i know a couple of spanish words you know i'm about to be fluent what i know like 10 words <laughs> We about to be fluent. Okay, and I put that aside because it was kind of hot, so I just let the flavors do its thing. I didn't put it in the fridge or anything like that, but you can do what you want with yours. Okay, so I just pan fried my little thing. I had no griddle like they be having in Venezuela on the street. Like they look, because technically this is street food. So I hear, if it's not street food, correct me, but I've heard this is street food, so like they be on the street with their grill. Like how Jamaicans be with their jerk chickens thing on the street, that's how it be. Um, but apparently like, yeah. I ain't had it, so I use a pan. You can use a pan too. I've seen people use a grill. We wouldn't even do all that, pan. So this is why I got chaotic. It would not be Katie Makes It Vegan if it wasn't for some chaos, okay? This was very hot. Now, I don't know what I was thinking because I just took out the pan. It was very hot. Like, you see me? Like, I literally need my hands to do things. Like most people, but you know, I play an instrument or whatever, and I'm just like over here touching this thousand degree thing. So when I opened it up, I realized, and I suspected anyway, that the corn wasn't like cooked all the way through. And that's why I put it on like medium heat and kept flipping it. I was flipping it for like 10 minutes, trying to get it, you know, to cook on the inside. Didn't work 100%, it didn't. But I just finished it off in my little air fryer. I just baked it on 400 degrees for like five additional minutes. So like when you're making this, you don't have an air fryer, I would... If you don't have an air fryer, um, just put it in the oven, I preheat your oven to 400 degrees or whatever. Okay, so now it's time to stuff my little um thing. What's it called? Arepa. And what I've seen is that it's supposed to be like overflowing. So I was like stuffing it. I was like this. Also, notice that I didn't cut it all the way through because that would be a sandwich. <laughs> I cut it like I cut it like maybe halfway to three three quarters of the way through. And you just like stuff it like that. You go like that, like that. Y'all. It was so good. And you know I'll be lying to you. What what have I ever lied to you? Was that something that was good when it went good? Like I always be telling you it was good. Like I'll be hooking up. That's what I'm saying. Like, just because you are vegan don't mean you're not eating good. Like this was so good. I was eating it. When I tell you, it didn't even make it to my plate. I had to take the plate and put it down to put my little arepa on my plate. And I was like this. I was eating it. I only, like, only half of it made it onto my plate. Like, you have to make it. It's so good. Obviously, there's other ways to make it. Like, I saw one. Like, when I was watching that video I was telling you about, I would, like, he, the other guy had um, pork and cheese like apparently like venezuela has like this like really famous cheese i don't know that ain't got nothing to do with me because i got to do with cows and that's not me but i was like before i try to recreate that i have to try the chicken and avocado one and y'all it just goes stupid you have to try it don't take my word for it try it let me know what you think thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe to so never miss any of my videos while you're here check out my other videos check out my other videos because i got a whole bunch of videos Thank you again for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye y'all.